versus the great, indomitable, unimpeachable winged dragon of Ra. We'll see about that, duelist. Because both of these Egyptian god monsters, in fact, all three Egyptian god monsters, just received new support in the 2022 10 of the Pharaoh's Gods, and now we've collected these cards and we're going to be pitting them against each other. These decks are stronger and more consistent than ever. Slacker will also be involved in this three way contest, so look forward to that as well. Obelisk and Ra is a duel we have not done before, though, so mm -hmm. I'm excited to see how this goes. I'll be playing Obelisk, of course. And I'm the Ra man himself. Before we hop into the video, by the way, guys, make sure you drop a like and let us know what your favorite Egyptian god monster is. I roll two. I roll a five. Wow, my, my dice betrayed me. All right, well, I'll be going first then, Duelist. All right. I wish you luck. You're going to need it. We'll see about that. I'll start my turn by activating Pot. Not of greed, but of extravagance. What's that do? I banish three or six random face-down cards from my extra deck, and I draw one card for every three cards banished. I won't be able to draw any more cards for the rest of the turn after I use this. So, so I'm going to banish three, right? I'm going to be banishing six cards, so I'll draw two cards. That'll reduce your extra deck by almost half. Yeah, I'll be using plenty of extra deck monsters in this duel, guys. Plenty, plenty. So with these six cards banished face down, I'll now draw two cards from my deck. Hmm, we'll see how quickly Alba's can hit the field. All right, next, I'll activate Foolish Burial Goods. It lets me send a spell or trap from my deck to the graveyard. Oh. A spell or trap I'll be sending. Oh, you won't be tired for long. My Soul Energy Max, one of Obelisk's new cards, mm. goes to the graveyard. What a do though. Nothing yet. I'll just let it stay in there for now. And All right, I'll trust you. I'll read it. I'll just trust you. As a good anime duelist should. <laughs> I'll set one monster face down, one spell I trap, and pass turn to you, duelist. All right. Draw for turn. I will. I should mention, by the way, Duelist, that I had to kind of just do a makeshift Obelisk the Tormentor deck. He doesn't have an archetype on, like, Slifer and Raw for some reason, so this deck is, uh, it's full of surprises, you'll see. I will normal summon Volcanic Rocket. That's not a Raw card, Duelist. Uh, it is, because it searches for a Blaze Accelerator. Yeah, which, for some reason... Blaze Cannon is always treated as Blaze Accelerator. Does anybody know why? I sure don't. <laughs> I mean, we don't know these things. It's something about Japanese, and I don't speak it. I will go into the battle phase. What will you do? That's right, my rocket is 1900 attack. It will attack your face down. You attacked my unmasked dragon. When it's destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, I can special summon a worm monster with 1500 or less defense from my deck. And that's exactly what I'll do. Unmasked dragon will special summon this. My Mare Mare in attack mode. Interesting. It can only be special summoned by the effect of a worm monster. I think I see what you're planning here. You might, but can you actually stop it? I can't. I'll set a card face down and I'll end my turn. All right, draw for turn. I'll activate the effect of my Mare Mare. So I'll reduce its level by one to summon a mini Mare Mare token. That says Crystal Beast. Yeah, well. Next, I'll use its effect again. Because I can use it for three times per turn. I'll summon another Crystal Beast token. And then, one more time, to summon my last token. Now that I have three monsters in the field, you know what that means, right, Duelist? Mm -hmm. It means that I'm ready to summon my god, but I don't have him in my hand yet. I'll activate the effect of my trap card in the graveyard, Soul Energy Max. By banishing it from my graveyard, I can add an Obelisk the Tormentor from my deck to my hand and then immediately normal summon it. So that's why he wanted it in his grave. He's mastered every aspect of his game. That's right. I add Obelisk the Tormentor from my deck to my hand. And now, I'll tribute my three tokens. All right, I summon Obelisk the Tormentor. Wow. Yeah. You extra. He is here on the field to attack your life points. Looks like he's going to fall if you let him go. Yeah, well, okay, he's not going to stay. I just had to. Just had to take this opportunity, he says hi. That's not a high face. Oh, what's this, huh? Like he's threatening someone. Okay, he's gonna go back down there and hopefully like... All right, with him on the field, it's now time to enter the battle phase. 
Oblis the Tormentor is going to attack your volcanic rocket with 4,000 attack points. And I will take 21? 2100. 2100. And when I take battle damage, it allows me to special summon Guardian Slime. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah what's he do? Guardian Slime can t change his defense to attack whatever attacks him. Oh, so I'll never actually go to swing over, even with my Mare Mare. I've been with your Obelisk. Well, I'll activate my Supply Squad in Main Phase 2 and set one card face down. What's that do? So, once we turn up when I'm monster gets destroyed by Battle Arc card effect, I'll draw one card. Oh, so you know I'm gonna destroy all your monsters. It's possible. You're moving to us. Alright, let's draw! <clears throat> Alright, I will activate the Ancient Chant. Oh, are you ready to say the chant? Great chicken of the sky, hear my cry. But I will search a Wind Dragon of Ra. And next, I will tribute my Guardian Slime. To special summon from the extra deck, the Egyptian God Slime. Oh, do you? He looks just like my Obelisk the Tormentor. Like yeah. yeah, he looks just the same, except I'm weaker in every way. Your Guardian Slime also gets a search. That's right. When Guardian Slime is sent from field to graveyard, I can snatch any spell or trap card that lists the Wing Dragon of Rhyme in its text. Your worst duelist, I don't care. I, will, I won't just do my worst, I'll do my absolute worst. I'll do my damnedest. I'll get my the true sun god. He's nothing compared to my breaking ruin god. Yeah, we'll see about that. So, Egyptian god slime counts as a tribute for all three tributes for a god guard. Interesting duelist. And I'm tributing Egyptian god slime for the winged dragon of Ra. You're about to feel the rage of the gods! Winged Dragon of Raw direct attack! And when I banish the ancient chant from my graveyard, Winged Dragon of Raw gains the attack and defense of the monster. Interesting. So your Winged Dragon has 3,000 attack and 3,000 defense. That's huh? right. Let's take a look at him. Deadly. All right, are you going to be using your Raw's special ability? <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's just kind of up to you. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta really, really think about that. <laughs> yeah, I know. You know, it's not just, you know, you just can't just do that. You know, you gotta, it's true. You gotta consider you, some things. You're gonna unify with the sun god. Yeah, I'm not gonna unify with the sun god. Not right now, all right? Just not doing the effect. Okay. He's, the, he's got 3,000 attack and defense. That's not enough to swim over my elbows. So next, I'll activate my blaze cannon. Oh, this is interesting. Yes, it gives my Wing Dragon of Rock all three of, these, three of these effects. It is unaffected by your card effects. When I declare an attack involving it, I can tribute other monsters I control that have an attack to give them it's a their attack. And after damage calculation, if it attacks, I can send all your monsters to the graveyard. Anyway, I'll move towards battle. Battle phase, you say. Okay, fine, duelist. Do your worst. My Wing Dragon of Ra will attack your Mare Mare. Oh my gosh, you're like stabbing the card. Oh god. <laughs> um, all right, he's 3,000? Yes. All right, Mare Mare's destroyed and I'll take 900 damage. That also means that your, well, first of all, my Supply Squad will let me draw one card. Sure. It's a monster was destroyed. And now, my Ra's effect activates to send all your other monsters. Goodbye, Obelisk. Next, I will go to main phase two. I will set one card phase down. And I'll end my turn. Hmm. All right. Well, I'll draw. I'll activate another copy of Foolish Burial Goods. Send another spell or trap from my deck to the graveyard. <clears throat> but you can't guess which one I'm sending to us. How about another Soul Energy Max? Okay. Because now I normal summon Ra's Disciple. When it's summoned, I can also summon up to two Ross Disciples from my hand and or deck. Here we go field. again. So I'll be summoning two Ross Disciples from my deck. The Disciples are here at last! Your Disciples are serving me now. <laughs> the real ones are in my deck. They are all common. And now, I will activate the effect of Soul Energy Max. By banishing it from my graveyard, I can add an obelisk from my deck to my hand. And then normal summon it. All right, my Egyptian god, 
Time to return to the field. I attribute my three monsters to summon Obelisk, the Tormentor, in attack mode. He's back on the field. Just briefly, he just had to say hi again. I will so. get rid of him again if I have to. Can't use cards or effects when Obelisk is summoned, and he can't be targeted, so I'm not so sure how you think you're going to be getting rid of him. I did it once before. I activate my Fist of Fate. That's right, its activation and effects can't be negated, and I negate the effects of one of your effect monsters and destroy it. If I do, that monster's effects are negated for the rest of this turn. And then, I can destroy all the spells and traps that you control. So, Fist of Fate, Punch Winged Dragon of Ra. I'll activate Blaze Cannon. Oh, interesting. Dude. So now my Winged Dragon Ra is unaffected by other card effects. Interesting. In addition to some other effects, you know, like yes, the attacking thing. Yes, but those are, aren't too relevant here. Oh, darn. So I can't destroy it with my Fist of Fate. Okay. No, you cannot. There's only 3,000 attack. I don't know if you still get the whole destroying spell and trap things. I'm not I, I don't think I do. Oh, yeah, I didn't I didn't destroy it, so I don't get the rest. All right. Yeah. Darn it. You got the man up and fight my Ra. Well, that's okay. Obelisk is still ready to attack the winged dragon directly. Fist of fate. 4,000. All right, I'll take 1,000 damage. I will set one card face down and in my turn. All right. Draw. You won't get it rid of my Obelisk that easily. Next turn, he'll be back to fist you again with more fate. I don't know if that's the, if the terminology we... No, you know, I don't think that's the His terminology. His fist of fate. No, no, you know, I, I'm just gonna say nah. I'm gonna say nah to that one. I activate my new spell card, the true sun god. I'll tribute the metal reflex sign to special summon from my extra deck, Egyptian god slime. I'll activate my millennium revelation. Hmm, we'll see what the revelation is here today. I activate its effect by paying the cost, send a divine beast from my hand, my sphere mode, to the graveyard. Now I get to add a monster reborn. Monster reborn. Hmm. Now you might recall that the winged dragon of rock can't be special summoned. That is true, Dwarves. But my Millennium Revelation lets me get around that. And by, by sending my Millennium Revelation to the grave, I can special summon. The win, Dragon of Ra, with zero attack. If I remember correctly, I still can't target Obelisk. So that is also true. His effects aren't that useful, but I can use the true Sun God. How oh, can you do this? What's right. that all about? We send the true Sun God to Graveyard. We send an immortal Phoenix from graveyard, from deck to Graveyard. And now, I send my Ra to the grave. Yeah, but I know what that means. Because... When Ra gets sent from field to graveyard while having Immortal Phoenix in the grave, Immortal Phoenix will special summon itself with 4,000 attack and 4,000 defense. And what's his effect? Let's see. Oh no, he can deal with my Aquas quite easily. That's right. Unlike Ra who has a target to destroy, I can activate my Immortal Phoenix's effect, pay my 1,000 life points. Are you doing that now? I am. And then I can just send your Obelisk. Hmm, I don't like the sound of that, Duelist, but unfortunately it'll have to be the case. I don't get to draw from supply squads until I'm sent from the field of the grave rather than destroyed. And now you're wide open. So, Immortal Phoenix, attack! Uh, pff, that probably is how it is in the show. In main phase two, I'll set a face down card, and I'll go to end phase. Immortal Phoenix sends itself to the graveyard and special summons a sphere mode. Girl. And don't forget, you can't target my sphere mode for effects or attacks. That is true. What? Activate Monster Reborn. You might think I'd get back my Egyptian God card, but this time I'm actually going to be just summoning. Really, any monster will do. So, my unmasked dragon in defense position. Next, I'll activate the Breaking Ruin God, my second new card from the tens. The activation of this card can't be negated. I'll special summon an Obelisk the Tormentor from my hand or graveyard. And if I do, it's unaffected by your card effects this turn. Return my Obelisk the Tormentor. <laughs> so, Obelisk the Tormentor has returned to the field to the list. I mean, you can't attack, like, you can't destroy him by battle. You can't attack this one. Well, maybe I don't need to. I normal summon Telus, the little angel. If it's in for the monster, I'm not going to worry about that yet. Okay, now, I'll activate the effect of Obelisk the Tormentor. 
And that allows me to tribute two monsters and it'll clear the board of everything. Huh? It destroys all the monsters you control. It'll destroy all the monsters in the field though he can't attack this turn. Yeah, that's gonna destroy them both. Yeah. Right. They're destroyed. Wow, all right. But that's not all duelist. I still have two more all. effects. When Telus gets into the graveyard, it actually special summons a Telus wing token to the field. So we're just gonna be summoning that here in the front mode. But more importantly, since I attributed two monsters to activate the effect of my obelisk, I can banish the Breaking Ruined God from my graveyard. And it'll banish all monsters in your graveyard and inflict 500 damage to you for each one. Oh, wow. So, say goodbye to every monster in your graveyard. One, two, three, four, seven, eight. Eight monsters in your grave, you say? And they're all banished and you only have 3,900 life points left, Duelist? That means you take 4,000 damage. So even though my obelisk couldn't attack you, wait, it's still- how much is- Wait, it banished you for 500 for each? 500 for each. Say goodbye to the rest of your life points. Obelisk, use- Wait, 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 wait. Uh, Use your alternative fist of fate. Fist him with this? the left fist. Ugh, you wow. take 4,000 damage. Wow. Game two, Duelist. We shouldn't have come to this. It really shouldn't have. But I'll go first. All right, bring it on. Activate the ancient chant. Say Great it. chicken of the sky, hear my cry. As I've reiterated multiple times, guys. I Transform don't know. thyself from orb of light and bring me victory in this fight. See, maybe you should be the one playing I should be raw. playing raw. Normal summon reactive slime. And now use this effect to create two slime tokens. You stole my tokens, duelist. Man, you stole half my archetype. I will tribute my three monsters. The Winged Dragon of Ra. I'll use this effect. I'll pay all of my life points until I only have 100 left. It gains 7,900 attack. But furthermore, by banishing my ancient chant, it gains the combined attack of all the monsters I use for the tribute. So it gains 1,500 more attack. So he's... I'll set two cards face down, and I'll end my turn. Draw. What will you do in the face of this almighty god? All right, well, let's see what I have in store for you today. I'll start this duel by activating my pot of extravagance. Six cards. All right, Ra. Which one? Which one? Which one? You want to do the top six? Which one's it, Ra? Oh, 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 my bad, Ra. My bad, you want this one. Oh, okay. Rod Ra Ra chose, it wasn't up to me. Okay. These cards are banished face down, and I get to draw two cards. Will they be helpful? Clearly not, as this is not the card that I heard. All right, Duelist. Well, that is okay, because I will activate Foolish Burial Goods to send the Speller Trap from my deck to the GUI. We already know what you're going to say. Soul Energy Max goes to the graveyard. Face down, I activate. I wait. I Oh, there it is. And I'll activate my supply squad. Could you please stop playing your cards where his wing is obscuring Can my vision? Can you please take him off the table? No! He's on the field! I'll set two cards face down, and then my turn. Draw for turn! All right, I'm gonna need you to move, because I can't. <laughs> <laughs> We're destroying this thing! Activate my face down metal reflex slime. Oh, boy. I will tribute the metal reflex slime to special summon. Egyptian God Slime. And I'll normal summon Volcanic Rocket and search for my Blaze Cannon. All right. Bring it on, Duelist, with 9,400 attack points. I'll activate my Blaze Cannon. Maybe it will be enough to kill me. We'll so now, out. my Winged Dragon of Ra gains all three effects. That means it's unaffected by card effects. That means I can tribute my other monsters to give it attack. And after damage, damage calculation, if it attacks, I'll destroy it. I will send all your monsters to the graveyard. Hmm. Enter battle. Battle enter. Egyptian god slime. Attack the face down. You attacked. My skate ghost. Wow. When it's flipped face up, I can summon any number of black sheep tokens onto my field. So I'm going to be summoning the maximum amount to protect myself. Even though I kind of hardly remember from the normal. I don't know if we have a, a fourth token. Uh. Oh, okay, we have a fourth token. Yeah, guys, Jesse just kind of flew over from Duel Academy to make a little cameo on this duel, and he just wanted to say hi to everybody. What's up, y'all? <laughs> All right, uh, there they are. Let's have the Winged Dragon of Ra attack, I guess, any one of the tokens. 
and then its effect activates to send all your other tokens to the grave. Well, goodbye. And then my volcanic rocket will attack you directly for 1900. Oh, I also got to draw one card from my supply squad. Shouldn't really make much difference, but you know. I will end my turn. All right, I draw. I'll normal summon my Ra's Disciple. Oh my gosh, you see that card more than I do. Yeah, I haven't seen, haven't seen that card at all. And now I'll summon two more of them to the field to tribute. Whose side are you guys on? That's a great question. My third Ra's Disciple. I'm not scared of these traitors. All right then, Duelist. If you're not afraid of them, then you won't mind if I use my soul energy max to add an obelisk from my deck to my hand and then immediately tribute summon it to the field. Bring it up. This one is signed by the late Kazuki Takahashi. It is truly beautiful. Rest in peace. All right, we're going to tribute Ra's Disciples for the almighty obelisk of the Tormentor to the field in attack position. And since you <laughs> still have monsters on the field. Oh, God. That means that I'm in a prime position to destroy you. All right, Obelisk Tormentor is going to attack your Egyptian god slime. And since you only have 100 life points left, that will be enough to defeat you. Did you think I reduced myself to 100 life points without a backup plan? Yes. <laughs> I activate my trap, Sun God Unification. And I'm gonna use its effect. Once per turn, I contribute a Winged Dragon of Ra, and I gain life points equal to its attack on the field. Oh, joy. So I'll tribute my Winged Dragon of Ra, who had... 9,400? Yeah, 9,400, and I'll gain that. Oh, boy. <laughs> God, okay. This duel suddenly got much longer. That's right. Is that all that does? It does more, but it requires a special summon Winged Dragon of Ra. Well, Obelisk is still going to destroy your Egyptian god. Or I guess it has to still... It doesn't get destroyed by battle. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's true. So, okay, so Obelisk just has to attack. Yep. Well, I'll still attack and deal a thousand damage to you. I'll take that puny thousand. I'm not even at eight thousand yet. Sheesh! Okay. I am beyond you. Um, that is very unfortunate, Duelist. I'm gonna have to go to main phase two. Pass, my turn. All right, draw! I will switch my God Slime to defensive mode. And my rocket for good measure. How I'll defensive right are we, Merrick? I can be defensive, because you can only attack my slime, and you can't be destroyed by battle. Oh, I drew a return. Hmm. That is true that your slime can only be attacked. So I guess that will give you one more turn to live. How about I just set one card face down? And unfortunately, I'll have to end my turn. All right. Draw! Draw for turn. I don't need forever. I need just right now. I activate the true sun god. Oh. I'll add the winged dragon of Ra or a card that enlists it. Hmm. I'll get my ancient chant. The ancient chant. And then I'll activate my chant. You gotta say it. Winged dragon of Ra. That's all you're gonna say? Wow, Duelist. Wow. That's all I got. Okay. Leave me alone. I'm trying my okay. best. I'll add the Winged Dragon of Ra to my hand. And now I get an additional Tribute Summon in addition to my normal summon. And I think, I'll, I think I'm going to use every bit of this. Oh yeah, for sure. I'll Normal Summon my Reactor Slime and use this effect. Familiar face. Now my board is full of glee as I destroy all of your monsters with Obelisk the Tormentor. You I wish I could actually just use this Fist of Faithing in your return, that would be great. That'd be awful. That'd Terrible. Be great. I would not like that one. I would love it. And now, I'll tribute the two tokens and... Now you don't want to tribute the slime guy? I could, but the tokens aren't going to do anything for That's me. That's true. They're not going to do anything. Not not anything. Wait, 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 I'll keep him. I'll keep him. The rocket and my two tokens. Yeah. Four. The winged dragon of Ra. Now both gods face off. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> okay, that, that's their that's their guest appearance. They're, they're leaving now. Uh. You, you sit right here, bro. 
But you go nowhere now. I'll use my ancient chant, banish it. It'll gain the attack of all the monsters I tributed. That was two 500 attack monsters and one 1900 attack monster. So 29. And I'll pay all my life points down to have 100 left. Okay, so that's 8400 plus 2900? Yes. What is that? 11,300. 11, oh, we no. can do math. Yeah. 11,300 attack. The power. The absolute power. Do I have anything to do? Because I only have 6,100. That is fine. And I'll get my God Slime ready in case you try anything funny. Hmm. I will. Enter battle. Battle enter. The Winged Dragon of Ra, attack his tormentor. You thought I'll activate my quick play spell, Fist of Fate. This spell card lets me negate the effects no. of one of your effect monsters. You're not about... And if I do, it'll get destroyed. Its effects are negated, and I'll destroy all the spells and traps that you control. Say goodbye S to the Winged Dragon of Rome. Slow down there, because I can still use my Sun God Unification. I'll tribute my Ra, and then gain all his attack as life points. I don't care for this strategy. Well, if you can chain that, that's fine, but this doesn't target. So I will still be getting to destroy one of your cards and destroy your spells and traps. That is. It'll just Actually, you survive. can you target him? You have to it target doesn't him. Target. Oh, it doesn't. Yeah, oh, so okay, okay, okay. So, so yeah. So I will be using my Sun God Unification on my Ra, so I will gain the eleven three hundred. Okay. I don't like 11, any of this. Eleven thousand three hundred life points. <sighs> okay. Well, my Fist of Fate will still destroy your Egyptian God Slime, and it's also going to. Actually, it won't get to destroy all your spells and traps because uh, I didn't use it in my, I didn't use it in my main phase. So, good. Then this does put me back in the spot. Well, you have plenty of life points to live, so it's okay, Duelist. I do have plenty of life. For now, it's okay at least. All right, then in the ba I'm still in the battle phase, so I'll use my reactor slime's effect. I'm gonna attribute it and set a metal reflect slime. Oh, that is true. You can do that. I will have to just end my turn. All right, I draw. I will enter the battle phase. All right. And take a swing at your life points with Obelisk the Tormentor, 4,000 directly. I don't have to take it, but I'll take it. Yeah, I guess you have plenty of life points to spare, huh? I do, I do. Finally putting you beneath <laughs> 8,000. For now. All right, well, I'm going to set one monster face down. And I'll set two cards. Hopefully these will eventually be of use to me. They have not managed to do much so far. All right, your move duels. Draw for turn. Tribute all three of your monsters. Oh, you have it. And summon Ra's fear mode to your side of field. There's nothing I can do about that. That was my scapegoat and my super nimble mega hamster. Oh, I love that. Yeah, which were meant have, to get me cards. You can have my egg. It's okay, I don't mind holding a big ball on my field. If I had a, a raw in my deck, I would tribute it and summon it from my deck. But I don't. Yeah, at least. And then... Yeah, that's end my turn. I have nothing to do, Duelist. So... I'll end my turn. Because all my tribute fighters gone, I'll so... I'll draw. And the sphere mode returns to me. Yeah, fine. I'll activate Ancient Chant to add a Wind Dragon of Ra from my grave to my hand. Oh yeah, I can do that, I forgot. That is true. That's important because now I can tribute my Sphere Mode and Special Summon the Wind Dragon of Ra with 4,000 attack and defense. Fun, the Duelist, very fun. But not enough to kill me. It's not? It's not. Mm. Mm. I guess I never used the effect of this card, so you might not know about it. What is that? Because this Winged Dragon of Rai is special summoned, I can use the effect of my Sun God Unification. Oh, is it only on special summon? Yes. Oh, that's rude. That's right. For a special summoned Ra, I can pay my life points so that I only have 100 left. How much attack does he have again? 
I think it's 11,400. Yeah, 11,400. The math could have gone went awry. Yeah, right I think here. it's 11,000. I will special summon my Angel O one actually. I'll special summon my Angel O one by revealing a level seven or higher monster in my hand. I hollow the torment. I can only summon it once per turn this way. Alright. It's worth noting. It's cute, I guess. Then I'll normal summon another Angel O one. Yeah, I can control both. Good night, I can. All right, and now. I'll activate this. My monster reborn. I can target a monster in either graveyard and special summon it. Oh, wait, I think so I it. say hello once again to Obelisk the Tormentor. I mean, this should come as this should be obvious. I mean, you're like, you're like six thousand life points short here, bro, and or six thousand attack points. I'm going to. So he's got eleven thousand four hundred. Yes, he's huge. And the moment I feel danger, I'm running away. Activate all of the Tormentor's effect. I'll tribute my two angels. Two, destroy all the monsters in the field. All right then. My dragon stays because of my mound and a bound creator. Who oh, does he? All right, well, he won't be destroyed by this effect. But you know what just happened? I attributed two monsters to activate the effect of Obelisk the Tormentor, which means I can use the effect of my Breaking Ruin Wait, God. wait, wait, not again! Oh no! I can banish it from my graveyard, and it will deal 500 damage to you for each monster in your grave as they're all banished. I changed Sun God Unification, I changed Sun God Unification. Okay, I guess it's tributed as a cost though. So, this does get banished. And all the monsters in your grave are banished, but you will be gaining. Yeah, let's say, yeah. let's get my eleven thousand four hundred first. Oh wait, sorry. <laughs> like you lose eleven thousand five hundred. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now your effect goes off. Yes. So that's one, two, three. Oh god. Four. Oh god. Five. Oh six. Oh no. Seven. It's All your monsters are banished and you'll take 3,500. Oh, this is a problem. That was two Winged Dragon of Rods. Uh-oh. So surely there's nothing left for you to do, although you're back at 8,000 duelists. All right, well, my Obelisk won't be able to actually attack this turn, so I'll be ending my turn and it'll go to the graveyard. Well, here we are. Here we are. No god cards left on the field. We did this. Yeah, it comes down to this. <laughs> All right. Bring it on. Draw for turn. Wow, useless. All right, I'll activate mm. Metal Reflect Slime. Interesting, okay. You may have banished all my rods, but I can still tribute this Metal Reflect Slime for Egyptian God Slime. Mm, not a fan. Egyptian God Slime is not big enough to kill anything here, but it will swing. Expect me to have that. But I gotta end my turn. All right. All right. Draw. I'll activate this. Soul Crossing. Mm -hmm. So, during the main phase after this of Zolves, I'll be tribute summoning a Divine Beast monster. And when I do, I can tribute a monster or monsters you control, even though I don't destroy, even though I don't control them. I'll be tributing your Egyptian God Slime to Summon my own Divine Beast monster, and it counts as three tributes, and I have no clue if that's actually like right by game mechanics, but screw it, we're doing it anyway. Say goodbye. You're using my sl That's right. That I... So say goodbye to Egyptian God Slime, and say hello to Obelisk the Tormentor. With 4,000 attack points. Now, Obelisk. Fist of Fate! Boom! Alright, I take four times. Wow! Wow! You attributed my slime. I'll set one card face down in the field. It's your move duelist. I might run down office this time. Draw! I'll activate the true sun guy! That so can add a winged dragon of Ra or one card that miss it from deck to hand. I know, I honestly don't know. I, I don't know what the answer is here. I don't know if there is an answer. Hopefully there's not. I'll add Sorry. Guardian Slime! Oh, very rude. 
Guardian Slime's useful, but you only have 4,000, so I don't know if you'll actually be able to survive an attack. I'll add the Winged Dragon of Ra Spear Mode. Hmm. We'll see how helpful that is for you. You think that because I have no more Ra's, I can no longer play. It feels that way, yes. You fool. Where there's a will, there's in fact a way. I activate Millennium Revelation. Interesting. So I'll send a Divine Beast monster from my hand to Grave to add a monster reborn from my Grave to my hand. Interesting, dude. Let's start. Right. Let's see what it's all about. Or, hey, my monster reborn. Now, I don't have any rods left to bring back with this. What do you have? Doesn't matter. Because you have what I need. I activate Monster Reborn. Hmm, interesting. Okay, Duelist. And I'll bring back your Obelisk the Tormentor. That's right. Now, Obelisk, attack Obelisk. Can they destroy that battle? I think they can be, yeah. Okay. Yeah, they can destroy my battle. Okay. Attack. Well, fine. <laughs> They're both destroyed. So, that means that some damage is going to be dealt? Oh, yeah. I think, we both, I think we're both going to take a thousand, huh? Yeah, the player controlled destroyed monster. Yeah, so we just both take a thousand. That's alright, that's fair. That's fair. I gotta end my turn. Okay. <laughs> I draw. I do it. It was a good attempt, however, the last card in my hand will finish you off. I activate the Breaking Ruin God. Oh my I can summon an obelisk from my graveyard. Oh, say hello to Obelisk the Tormentor. It'll be the last thing you ever see. All right, Obelisk is here on the field. He is not gonna stay standing. Obelisk the Tormentor, attack his life points directly with your fist of fate. Boom! Yeah, yeah. You take 4,000. I, I struggled as best. Smash! I cannot believe they printed cards that made Obelisk a raw killer. You banished my rods. Welcome back, guys, to episode two of the Battle of the True Gods. Today, we're hitting Slifer, the Sky Dragon, versus the Winged Dragon of Ra, piloted by yours truly. Then you got a chicken piloted by the Colonel, is what it is. That's a golden fried chicken, y'all. Mm. So it's the same as last time. It's the best two out of three. We're going to figure out who's the true god and who's just a Slifer, the Sky Dragon. Please make sure to like and comment down below your favorite Egyptian god. All right, so we'll do a high roll with the divine dime. You're a high roll. Five. That's a five? That's a five. Yeah, it's weird. Ah, six! Wow. Ah, okay. Ah, 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 so you're ah. gonna make me go first, right? Why do you want to go first? Oh, okay, so I get to go first? I said, why do you want to go first? I don't know, am I coming in? Yeah. I'll go first. All right. Aha, I have perfect strategy. Bring it on. I will activate Joker Strike. Discard my Joker's Knight. Special summon one Queen's Knight from my deck, and then I get to search one King's Knight and add it to my hand. And then immediately after, I get to normal summon. I should normal summon King's Knight, which activates his effect, which allows me to special summon Jack's Knight. What? Three monsters in one turn? Yeah. And back in the days when they used to be something. Guys, I didn't realize it was gonna be like this. Whatever. I didn't realize I was doing as an expert. Yeah. Well, I won't go down that easily. Three monsters is not enough to defeat a god. You're not enough to defeat a god. I will set three cards face down. And then, Link Summon. But you didn't see that coming, Merrick. Uh, during Merrick's time in the anime, they didn't even have Synchro Summoning, so he, he wouldn't know. Ah, <laughs> you never seen it before. I will Link Summon Arcana Extra Joker. He does hey. a whole bunch of stuff. Um, the spell of trap monster effects activate that can target one card on the field. The points to destroy it. I will move towards in phase. But wait! In my in phase of my turn, I have effects. Ah. See, my Joker's Knight effect will activate. We'll send one of my face card knights. We'll send one of my face cards back to the deck to add him back to my hand. Okay. But that's not all! There's more. My Joker straight. We'll activate also to send another face card from Grave back into deck. That's redundant. To add this back to my hand. Anyway. Anyway. Draw for turn. Draw your pathetic card. Mm -hmm. Yugi boy. Wait, I'm Yugi boy. I will normal summon my reactor slime. One second. Merrick. I will activate 
My joke is wild. During the main phase, I can send one spell from my deck to the grave that lists King's Knight, King, King's Knight, Queen's Knight, and Jack's Knight. And this card's effect becomes that card's effect. I will send them boom, 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 boom. Joker straight to the grave. Oh wow, so you an extra Joker straight? Yes, so now Joker straight will activate on your turn. So, I will special summon Queen Knight, will allow me to search. search. And immediately, into normal summon, King's Knight, which activates the effect because I control Queen's Knight, will summon Jack's Knight. This is a lot for my turn. Are you done? Can I play now? This is Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> We don't want your opponent to play. And then it has another effect. But we won't get into we'll get into that eventually. I'll activate Reactor Slime's effect to create two tokens. I'll chain off that Reactor Slime effect. Thunder Speed Summon. During the main or battle phase. Me got the immediately after this effect effect. See I'm getting tongue-tied. Immediately after this effect resolves, I get to normal summon. But if I control Kings, Queens, and Jack's Knight, I get to search for a level 10 non-dark. So Monster? you're searching for a slifer and then summoning it. You're... Do, I, do I tell you how to play your cards? Not yet. I haven't you, I've only played one this entire like, time. You're acting like a real yummy merrick here. Just saying. I played yes, one I'm searching slifening all my face cards to the grave to summon. Ba -da -da -da. Da -da 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 -da. Roger Slifer the Sky Dragon. Behold! Slifer the Sky Dragon! You're scared now. No, it looked more intimidating. It's actually. real scared now. I'm glad I already summoned the reactor slime yeah. so that mouth will stay shut. All right, so assuming you're doing nothing else, I can resolve my reactor slime. I do a lot of stuff. All right, I'm special summoning two slime tokens, and then I'll activate the ancient chant. Say it. Great chicken of the sky, hear my cry. That's not how it goes. I'll search for a winged dragon of Ra. And now, I'll tribute my tokens and reactor slime, banishing the ancient chant from my graveyard, to summon the winged dragon of Ra. The banished ancient chant, so it'll gain their hit attack. They each have 500 attack and defense, so my Ra starts off with 1500 attack and 1500 defense. But what's more is I will pay all of my life points until I have only 100 left. And my Ra gains those life points as attack. So now my Ra has 9400 attack points. But because you summon Ra in all his malnourished glory, life for a second mouth will open to decrease your attack and try to destroy you. Yeah. You fool. Your effect doesn't work on my Ra. Because effects can't be activated when you summon Ring Dragon of Ra. Show me where it says that. It says it on the, I don't know, I think every guy card says that. Well, I right, then. And now, my Wing Dragon of Ra is the strongest monster on the field. I'll enter battle. Wing Dragon of Ra attacks Slifer the Sky Dragon. I will. Yes, life is destroyed. For now. How much sack did you have? 2,000. So you take 7,400. I'm still alive. Barely. I'll end my turn. I can't do anything else. So all I have to do is just like, glare at you really, really hard and you'll die. If you can glare through a god card. Joey did it. Draw for turn. Heck of a heart of the cards. So. Stand by fate. I will activate Joker straight. Discard one card. Special summon one Queen's Knight from my deck. And then I get to immediately normal summon King's Knight, which you know the drill. Brings out another monster weaker than my god. Or something you just told me. There will bring out nothing, because both of them are in my grave. Apologies. I did a mess up. That's alright! Your evil tyranny ends here, Merrick. Next, I will summon the Revived Sky God. Wait, what? The activation of this card and its effects cannot be negated, nor can nor can its effects be negated. That's a long... What is the effect? You want me to read it? Or do you want to read it? No, go for it. It allows me to special summon one Slack for the Sky Dragon from my graveyard onto the field. And then we both draw cards until we have six cards in our hand. Oh, so I get some free cards. You get, what, two free cards? Hey, that's better than what I, I get. Five free cards. One, two, three, 
a four, a five. And I'm sure you know Slifer's effect that he gets a thousand attack for each card I have in my hand. I'm not sure if your math's very good, it's but 9,400 to 6,000 still sounds like it's in my favor. I will activate the spell. Thunder Force Attack. Not the only one with great cards and great power. This card is also activation, can't be negated. If I control a monster whose original name is Slide of the Sky Dragon, destroy as many face-up monsters you control as possible, then if I activate this card in my main phase, which I am, I get to apply the following effect. Draw cards equal to the number of destroyed monsters. Wow. Okay, so that will... Get that chicken out of here! Destroy my winged dragon of rhyme. And I get to draw a card. And for my next thing... That's not good. It's not. I will normal summon Slifer the Sky Dragon! Wait, 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 wait. Didn't you already summon a... No, uh, wait. Oh, you special summon the other... Slifer the Sky Dragon! Look in his eyes. Wow. Moving towards battle phase. Thunder Force attack! In the battle phase, I'll activate Jiraghetto and special summon it. It'll gain 1,000 life points. So now I'm at 1,100. Re continue attack! Attack Jiraghetto! All right, goodbye, Jiraghetto. Second slide for attack! Yeah, I can't stop it. All right, I'll start with my new spell. New spell. The True Sun God. On activation, I can search for a Winged Dragon of Ra or a card that mentions his name. So you're dead. Basically, like everything, it, it, everything works here. I'll add Ra's Disciple to my hand. And then yeah. I'll normal summon my Ra's Disciple and use his effect to summon up to two additional Ra's Disciples. So it's Ra's Gang Gang. All three of my Disciples are here. And then I activate the ancient chant. Do it again. Great chicken of the sky, hear my cry. Something, 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 something. Oh, that's the wrong one. The winged dragon of Ra. Tribute my Ra's disciple, banishing my ancient chant to summon the winged dragon of Ra. So ancient chant says that my winged dragon of Ra will gain the attack of the Ra's disciple. So it has 3,300 attack and 1,800 defense. You gonna pay your life points again? Oh, no, 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 no. I have something way more interesting in time. I'm gonna activate the effect of my true sun god. I'm going to send an immortal phoenix from my deck to the graveyard. And then I send the winged dragon of Ra from field to grave. Goodbye, Ra. And that special summons the immortal phoenix from my graveyard. What did the immortal phoenix do? Really, he's just a stronger Ra. I'll set three cards face down. I move to end phase. Mm -hmm. Immortal Phoenix sends itself to the graveyard and special summons from my deck. The egg. Sphere mode. Sphere mode? That's right. Is it sphere or sphere? You can't target sphere. my sphere with attacks or effects. I end my turn. I draw. I will activate the effect of Joker's Knife. Which allow me to send one of the face cards from deck to grave and special summon him and his name becomes Whatever I send. I will send Queen's Knight and special summon Joker's Knight who becomes named Queen's Knight. Next, I will normal summon King's Knight. And because I normal summoned him while I control a Queen's Knight, I get to special summon a... Jack's Knight? Jack's Knight, yes! Oh, I, 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 was, I thought it was rhetorical, I wasn't sure. It was. Okay. Next, I will activate Thunder Speed Summon. You know what, you know what this does. During the main phase, since I control all three, I can search for a level 10 something with question, level 10 non-dark monster with question mark attack and defense. Slifer. Mm, you would think that, wouldn't you? Mary. Arcana Triumph Joker in all of her majestic glory. Then I will immediately normal summon Arcana Triumph Joker. As a long thing, if she's in my hand or a or graveyard, and I control all three, I can pretty much summon her. But I summon her using Thunder Speed Summon because I can. That's not the important part. This card gains 500 attack for the combined number of cards in both of our hands, which you don't have any Fair enough. for now. But whatever. Once per turn, I get to discard one card, destroy all face up cards. Wait! So I am activating that, and it does not target. So I can discard one card and destroy all cards of that type. Queen's Knight. 
So now you destroy all my monsters. All your monsters. Oh, non-target removal. I, I, what I tell you we was doing today is. So, Arcana Triumph Joker will attack you for a thousand. I will activate Metal Reflect Slimes. Uh, all you do is just make slimes. It has 3,000 defense. So your little queen or Triumph Joker cannot I swing the right. I know that name. I will go to end phase. But I have a fix. I got my Joker's Knight engraved, mm -hmm. so I will shuffle back my Queen's Knight into my deck and add Joker's Knight back to hand. And now she's at a robust 1500. That's entirely too weak. Can I take my turn now? No. You wait. Draw for turn! You scared me. It's like my deck doesn't want to give up quite that easily. I'll tribute my Metal Reflect Slime to Special Summon, the Egyptian God Slime. Oh, you are a slime. And then, I can tribute my Egyptian God Slime as all three tributes for the Wind Dragon of Ra. Now, because I don't have an ancient chant to banish, uh, it does not gain the attacks from my Egyptian God Slime. So is it at question mark, question mark? But I will be activating its effect to pay all of my life points until I only have a hundred left. So it's bigger and badder than your little Joker. Enter battle. The Winged Dragon of Ra, attack Triumph Joker. Blaze Cannon! How much do I lose? She's at, you don't have any cards in hand. I have no cards in hand. She's at 15. 15 to my 79, that is 64. Still alive. You are in fact alive. Just like last turn, I just have to glare at you really, really strongly. We'll see about that. I'll end my turn. Let's end this, Merrick. This game's gonna end, but I don't think it's gonna end the way you think it will. I don't know. I will activate the spell card, Joker Straight. I activated it so many times, you know what it does. Discard one card to special summon one Queen's Knight from deck. Special summon. And then it also allows me to search a King's Knight, which I can then immediately normal summon King's Knight. Then King's Knight effect. Yes. Gets me the Royal Flush Gang. Now. <laughs> That other effect of Arcana Triumph Joker. This card is in my hand to grave, and I control all three. I can send them to the grave to special summon her. And now I will activate her effect again. What? To discard King's Knight. So you're gonna destroy all my monsters. Destroy all your monsters. So you're gonna destroy all my monsters, right? Yeah. You thought, because I'll activate Blaze Cannon and I'll give my raw my three effects, the most important one being it's unaffected by other effects. So now, my true sun god is untouchable. We'll activate the effect of Joker's Knight. Send one from deck to grave, if I have one. Sending Queen's Knight, the special summon, Joker's Knight. Next, in face. Hey. What was that? Can you say it again? What was that? I didn't call cash that. You're pushing your luck. <laughs> End phase. Activate the effect of my Joker straight to shuffle back. Your move, Merrick boy. Draw for turn. I think it's time I put an end to this duel. I'll go straight to battle. Mm. Wing Dragon of Ra with 7,900 attack. Attack Arcana Triumph Joker. I will concede. There you go. What? Zero. Why are you so, why are you so, who made you like this? I will. Play your first pathetic card. I will activate Joker Straight. Go for it. I will discard Slifer the Sky Dragon. Special summoning Queen's Knight. That's interesting. You sent your god to the grave. Search me, King's Knight. Or normal summon King's Knight, which will allow me to special summon Jack's Knight. And it's bread and butter for that deck. Hey, that's all I can do. I am going to do that. I'm going to Link Summon again, Merrick. Something you ain't never seen before. I, oh, you've seen it once now. Arcana Extra Joker. I will move towards my end phase. On the end phase, my Joker Straight will activate. Shuffling back Queen's Knight. Oh, back into the deck. To add back to my Your move, Mr. Ishtar. Draw for turn. On your standby phase. Oh, we never use that in the old show. I will activate the Revive Sky God. You can't do anything. So I will special summon Slifer the Sky Dragon. And then we both draw until we have six cards in our hand. Ugh, but I have six cards. Sucks to be you. One, two, three, four. So if I'm, if I'm understanding this correctly. If you normal summon anything, 
When it hits the field, Slifer's second mouth will open. He will lose 2,000 attack. And after he loses that 2,000, if the attack is zero, it is destroyed. Slide for the Sky Dragon! That would be intimidating if this was a normal deck with normal cards in it. But you forget yourself. This is a god deck. I activate Millennium Revelation. Thank you. And I'll activate its effect. I'll send Divine Beast Monster from my hand to the graveyard, my immortal Phoenix, and I'll add a Monster Reborn for the deck to hand. Next, I will. Activate my ancient chant and search for the Winged Dragon of Ra. Do it a third time. Winged Dragon of Ra! I don't know. Messing up your own cannon. The great chicken of the sky is in my hand now. But alas, since I can't really summon anything without it dying, set a card face down, I'll end my turn. <laughs> All of that, and your chicken didn't even hit the field. Now move to the end phase. I wanted you to attack. Unfortunately, since Cypher would Slifer, especially someone from the graveyard, I have to put him back in the graveyard. See, Ra doesn't have that problem. You'll see. I activate Monster Reborn to bring back Slifer from the grave. Wow. Can't keep a good guy down. One, two, three, four, five, six. He is at 6,000. He's at eight. I attack you now, but be enough for game. All right. Think you have it in you? Take your shot, but don't miss. I will move towards battle. Bring it on. Kana, extra joker, attack. So how much? He has 2,800. Okay. I take 2,800 points of damage. And I'll activate the Guardian Slime. And now my Guardian Slime can match the attack of any boss that tries to battle it. So good luck finishing me off. I don't care. Move towards battle. Attack the Guardian Slime. The Guardian Slime's defense changes to match Slifers. Of what is that? Six cards. Six. So it has six thousand defense. I was moving towards main phase two. I'll set one card. I will. I'll activate the effect of Joker's Knight. Send it to grave to special summon. Well, sending a monster from deck to grave to special summon it, and it takes a name. To King's Knight to grave. I activate Joker Straight, discarding Imperial Bow. Special summon Queen's Knight. Kind of gotta get my way through this. Get King's Knight, normal summon King's Knight, special summon, nothing. <laughs> now I'll move towards end phase. No, on end phase, the effect of my Joker straight will activate, shuffle back. Jack's Knight should have been in the deck. Then Slifer, of course, goes back to grave. Bye bye, little guy. And now, draw for turn. So it will surely be the last turn of this duel. It might, I don't know. I will mm. tribute my Guardian Slime. It's a special summon. Your god slime? The Egyptian god slime. I will now tribute the Egyptian god slime, banishing the ancient chant from my graveyard to summon the wing, dragon of Ra. And it gains the 3,000 attack and defense of my slime. With that, I really don't need to use his other effects, so I just won't. Sun god unification. I'm going to send my wing, dragon of Ra to the graveyard. Special summon the Immortal Phoenix. And gain his attack to my life points. So I'll gain 3,000. And now, because Winged Dragon of Ra was sent to the graveyard, I can special summon the Winged Dragon of Ra, Immortal Phoenix. <laughs> this card's completely unaffected by your cards. So I can even use this effect. I can pay 1,000 life points and just send one of your monsters. Non-targeting, my head. So. Minus 1,000. I'll send your extra joker. And then I'll pay another 1,000. Want to spawn that one? No. We'll send Queen's Knight. Keep paying 1,000. Then I'll send it. I'll pay another 1,000. Pay 1,000. We'll send the joker joker. The joker joker? And last but not least, we'll pay another 1,000. And send your King's Knight. Oh, your field is wide open. Then bring it. Oh, I'm bringing it. I activate Monster Reborn and send my Millennium Revelation from field to grave. This lets me revive a Winged Dragon of Ra from my graveyard. Mm -hmm. Come on out, Winged Dragon of Ra. And what's this attack? Actually, it's question mark, question mark, oh. because it's got special summon. So, are you gonna pay? Well, it only gets its effect on normal summon. Oh. But Sun God Unification specifically lets me use that effect on a special summon Ra. So I will pay all of my life points, except for the last hundred, 
So that's 4,100, and it gains 4,100 attack. Wing Dragon of Ra with 4,100 attack. Since you declared an attack, I will activate the ultimate divine beast. Ultimate. When your opponent declares an attack, I can discard one spell or trap. Special then target one divine beast monster in my graveyard. Special summon it in defense and change the attack target to it. Come on out, Sly for the Sky Dragon. I just don't see how this is a problem for me. You only got two cards in hand, right? Yep. So now my Wing Dragon Rod attacks your puny little Slifer. He'll be back. And now, Immortal Phoenix attack for 4,000 damage. I'll take 4,000. That's high for life points. I'll move to the end phase. My Immortal Phoenix is sent to the graveyard, and then it's special summons. A sphere mode in this place. My Wing Dragon of Ra has to go to the graveyard too because of my Millennium Revelation. But I'm gonna activate my Sun God Unification and send it myself so I can gain its attack to my life points. And that triggers the Immortal Phoenix who summons himself back to the field. But it's still the end phase, so Immortal Phoenix is gonna send itself again. It sends itself and summons. Where is it? Where is it? Yeah. Another. Raw spear mode. You, now you're done now. I my turn. A lot of stuff in the end phase. Yes. Something about me. And I've got two divine beasts now. I'll draw. Play it out or rig it. No, they rig it if you can. We'll activate the effect. Oh, if I can find it. My revived sky god. I can take one monster reborn from my grave, put it on top of my deck. And if I control Slap for the Sky Dragon in my grave, I get to draw one card. Now we'll activate Monster Reborn to bring back Sly for the Sky Dragon. And then, I will activate Thunder Force Attack. Oh no. To destroy both both of your great balls of fire. That definitely destroys them, yeah. Why does the Immortal Phoenix come back? <laughs> uh, uh, next, I will move towards battle. You have Jury Ghetto, I'm gonna cry. Sly for the Sky Dragon. Attack his life points direct. directly. And how much attack does your one-winged dragon have? Shut up. 2,000. I will take 2,000 points of damage and activate Guardian Sly. In phase two. In end phase, Sly for the Sky Dragon would have to go to grave. But I get to trigger my ultimate divine, divine beast effect first that says, during the end phase, if I control the divine beast monster, destroy all face-up cards you control that activated their effects this turn. Never mind, nothing happens. So in phase, Slifer will go to grave. But I have more stuff in end phase. Joker Straight will activate to send back King's Knight to add back to my hand. And then Joker's Knight will activate, sending the little Queen's Knight back to deck to add back to my hand. All right. Keeping some cards in hand for your inevitable demise. You're a, de you're a card of demise. Draw for turn. Your reign of tyranny ends here. I will tribute my guardian slime to special summon the Egyptian god slime. And when guardian slime is sent from field to graveyard, it can search for a spell or trap that lists the winged dragon of Ra. I'll add to my hand the true sun god. Now I'll activate the true sun god to search for a winged dragon of Ra or a card that has it in its text. Yes. You know what card I love? What card do you love? Ancient Chant. You gotta do it a fourth time. Now I'll activate the Ancient Chant. Great dragon in the sky, hear my cry. Get my winged dragon of Ra to my hand. And I get an additional tribute summon this turn. I will tribute my god slime for all three, banishing the Ancient Chant. So it'll gain the attack and defense of my slime. The wing, Dragon of Ra, hits the field with 3,000 attack and 3,000 defense. But I gotta go a little bit further, don't I? Maybe. I'll activate his effects and pay all my life points until I only have 100 left. So that's 5,100. I'll normal summon my reactor slime and summon two slime tokens. I'll enter battle. Battle. Wing Dragon of Ra, Attack him directly. Activated my trap card again. All right, what you got? Ultimate Divine Beast, when you declare an attack, I'll discard a spell to special summon. Life of Skydrake? I chain Blaze Cannon. 
okay. to give my Wind Dragon of Rot its three effects. So I believe you're switching my attack to your dragon, right? Yeah. And how much defense does he have? 3,000. 3,000? Yeah, Wing Dragon of Rot, kill it. And then I'll activate my Sun God Unification. To? I'm going to send my Wing Dragon of Rot to the graveyard to gain his attack as life points. So I'm getting 5,100. And that will summon the Wing Dragon of Ra, Immortal Phoenix. So, unless you have something pretty good, Phoenix, attack and end this game. Yes, I got. I win. Fair. <laughs> That's a perfect win, too. You get exactly 4,000. All right, guys, so that is our Battle of the True Gods, Episode 2. The Winged Dragon of Ra reigns supreme in this episode. Mm -hmm. This time. Good back and forth duel, but hey. The better god won, what can I say? Duelists, welcome to the third and final battle of the true Egyptian god cards. Today, we're pitting Slifer the Sky Dragon against Obelisk the Tormentor. Yugi versus Kaiba, Fist versus Mouth. I'm Are you ready I'm, to? I'm hungry for you. Well, I'll fill your mouth with a fist. Did that happen in anime? Or did he like punch and just slide for just kind of, okay, never mind. Uh, so anyways, yeah, make sure that you watch the it's other two Egyptian years, god card duels. If you have not uh, seen them already, we've got all three of the gods facing off with a new support that they yes. got this year from the Ten of Pharaoh's Gods. This is the final duel, so we're going to see which god card is strongest. So who's stronger? The Egyptian gods or Exodia? You know, it's implied that the gods are like the same strength or stronger, but the truth is Exodia auto wins, and none of these auto wins. But it's, it's like, it's, that was a thing that I think we all asked during the playground, but it just never got answered. Like, what would happen if... For example, in the final duel, the Pharaoh summoned all three Egyptian gods. Yeah. And Yugi, using his grandpa's deck, use Exodia. Had, use Exodia. I think Exodia would win. Let us know in the comments. Because in the, cause in the, the anime, Exodia literally like comes out and just like obliterates. Yeah, he literally, just, it's gone. Yes. The world's just erased. We're gonna roll to see who goes first using our divine die. Wiggly, wiggly, wool. I got a four. I got, I got a three. three. I'll take the first move duelist. Mm -hmm. Start by activating Pot of Extravagance. I'll banish six cards face down from my extra deck, and that'll let me draw two cards. Did you actually get six? I always actually get six. That was seven. seven. One off. All right, well. Damn. By banishing six cards from my extra deck face down, I'm able to draw two cards from my deck. Next, I'll activate my Foolish Burial Goods. Mm -hmm. This lets me send a Speller Trap card from my deck to the mm -hmm. graveyard. I'll send a card you might not have seen before, my Soul Energy Max, from my deck to the grave. I'll send Soul Energy Max to the graveyard. Mm -hmm. Next, I will set one monster face down, and I'll activate this spell card, Supply Squad. Once per turn, if one of my monsters gets destroyed, I'm able to draw a card from my deck. Okay. All right, so now that will end my turn duelist. I will draw. First, I will activate Joker Strike. Discarding one card. Special summoning. If you've seen our previous duels, or if you played it, you know what it does. Um, special summon one Queen's Knight. Searches a, and then immediately after, I can normal summon King's Knight. Because King's Knight was normal summon, while I control Queen's Knight, that will let me special summon a Jack's Knight. Three monsters in the field already do it. Yep, All right. I will move towards battle. All right. Uh, do, 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 do. King's Knight, attack his face down. You attacked my super nimble mega hamster. Say that. So, it has 1800 defense, which means that you'll take 200 damage. But more importantly, all right, this lets me summon a nimble mamanga for my deck in face down defense position. Oh, this alliteration of your cards. Yeah, Nimble Mamanga. Is a uh, public knowledge still a thing? Yeah, you can, it's a thousand defense. Okay, a thousand? A hundred. Right there, a, hundred oh, a thousand attack on the defense. All right. Um, Queen's Knight attack the um, face down Nimble Mamanga. All right. My Nimble Mamanga is destroyed, though. This does activate its effect. It'll give me a thousand life points and summon two more Nimble Mamangas from my deck. Um, Ash Blossom? You wish. All right, so my Nimble Mamanga is destroyed, but I have two more in the field. So Jack Knight will attack your Mega Hamster. Fat, right. fat rodent. 
Mega Hamster is destroyed. And still in my battle phase, I will activate Thunder Speed Summon. If I can control each one of the face cards, I get to search a level 10 non-dark monster with question mark attack. And if I control all 10, I can tricky summon it immediately. Oh, I wonder what monster that might be, Duelist. Um, the tricky. <laughs> okay. I will tribute summon King's Knight, Queen's Knight, and Jack's Knight to summon Sly for the Sky Dragon. Sly for the sky, I hurt my finger. <laughs> Sly for the sky dragon, with all his majestic glory. Hello, Slyfer. So you say hello, Slyfer, sir. Slyfer, the executive producer. All right, well, he's here, and that's fine. He's here, and he's finna. Slyfer will attack, doesn't matter. Nibble Mamanga. My Nibble Mamanga's destroyed. That also reminds me, my supply squad will let me draw one card from my deck. One card. <laughs> Next, I will enter my main phase two. I will set two cards face down. I will shuffle one Light Warrior back to my deck to add Joker straight back to my hand. Your turn, um, you sorry duelist. All right, zero for turn. All right, duelist. I'm going to start by normal summoning my Ra's Disciple. Because you normal summon Ra's Disciple, you realize he'll be destroyed because of Slifer's second mouth opening. He'll lose 2,000 attack, and if his attack is reduced to zero, he goes to the graveyard. This is true, but my Ra's Disciples effect can still resolve and summon two more copies from my deck. As you guys might know at home, uh, Slifer's second mouth only affects monsters that are summoned in attack position to my side of the field. So that does mean that Ra's Disciple is going to be destroyed, but these two get to stay in the field. And because Ra's Disciple was destroyed, my supply squad activates to so let me draw one card from my deck. Mm -hmm. Now it's time for my Egyptian God card. I will activate the effect of Soul Energy Max in my graveyard. By banishing it, I can add an Obelisk the Tormentor from my deck to my hand and Tribute Summon it. So, say hello to the monster of your demise. I'll search my deck for Obelisk the Tormentor and Tribute my three monsters to summon Obelisk the Tormentor. Yeah, he is here to play. All right, you gotta get your god out. Let me guys have a little stare down here. Beep, All right, beep, beep, the gods are here. Beep, beep. My god's cooler. Bite your face off. I don't know why he has wings, but I guess he does. Are they wings or are they just like little? They're something. Flapper dappers. All right, these guys gotta go back now. We can continue the duel. Oh god. So now I'm going to enter the battle phase, mm -hmm. and I'll have Obelisk the Tormentor attack Slifer for the Sky Dragon. With 4,000 attack points. That's when you've activated my trap. I will activate Court of Cards. The effect I'm using is I'm going to banish one each King's Knight, Queen's Knight, and Jack's Knight from my graveyard to draw three cards. And as you know, because of Slifer's effect, I gain 1,000 attack for each card in my hand. So that puts him at 5,000 biggins. Okay, that means Obelisk is destroyed. Your Egyptian god is failed before the might of Slyfer. Okay, so I have 9,000 because mm -hmm. of the Mamanga thing. So now I have 9,000 life points. So now, so with my obelisk destroyed, I'm wide open, at least for now. I'll set two cards face down and end my turn. Attack points is wide open. Four more thousand. Okay, I draw for turn. I will activate Joker straight. Joker's wild. You know the drill. Special summon Queen's Knight. Search a King's Knight immediately. Normal summon King's Knight. Activate the effect. Special summon Jack's Knight. Now I will move towards battle. All right. Now I will start by attacking you directly with Queen's Knight. You thought, Duelist. I'll activate my face down card, the Breaking Ruin God. My Breaking Ruin God lets me special summon an Obelisk the Tormentor from my hand or graveyard, and it's unaffected by card effects for the rest of the turn. Mm -hmm. So say hello again to Obelisk the Tormentor in defense mode. So I can't get over Obelisk right now. Yes, and it can't be affected by your cards this turn either. I will set two cards face down. Oh, that decreases the attack of your Slifer though. And then switch him to defense. On out in my turn. 
All right, the end of your turn. Unfortunately, while Obelisk was a fun host, he has to go to the graveyard. Go to the grave. If you get special summon, he goes to the graveyard at the end of the turn. Oh, Egyptian god, say it. All right, draw for turn. I'll activate my Pot of Avarice. It lets me target five monsters in my graveyard, shuffle them into the deck, and draw two cards. Two copies of Ra's Disciple, and my three Nimble Mamongas. Because why not? They'll be shuffled into the deck, and then I'll draw two cards. And now, I draw two cards. Hmm. Now, let's see what I can do. Activate my Monster Reborn. Mm -hmm. Must be summon a monster from my graveyard. I'm going to be targeting Ra's Disciple. Mm -hmm. You ahead. know what that means. Go ahead and put in an attack. I don't think mm -hmm. so. Ra's Disciple gets special summon in defense position, and its effect will activate. Which lets me summon two more Ra's Disciples from my deck. I want you to stop running from me. Oh, I don't think so. Not happening. Just special summon, summon two Ra's Disciples. Just summon your, like, slime infinite loot that keeps coming back and... As me keeps drawing cards. So, I've got three monsters in the field, Duelist, and you know what that means. Well, since I control Slifer, you know what that means. Maybe. <laughs> I activate Thunder Force Attack. I can only activate it if I control Slifer, and it destroys all monsters you control. All right, my three Ron's Disciples are destroyed. You foiled this plan. Mm, foiled. Unfortunate. Well, that does activate my Supply Squad, which means I will get to draw one more card. So, you might have thought that I only had one way to summon Obelisk this turn. But little did you know, I've got another way to summon him. Activate Soul Crossing! During the main phase, I contribute summon a Divine Beast monster and tribute your monsters in place of mine. If I do, though, I can only use one other card effect until you know the next turn, unless it's a Divine Beast card. I'll tribute your three knights to summon Obelisk the Tormentor once again. Next, I'll activate another new card, my Fist of Fate. Much like your Thunder Force attack, if I control Obelisk the Tormentor, I can negate the effects of one of your monsters, and then I'll destroy it, and since I use it in my main phase, I'll get to destroy all of your spell and trap cards. Say goodbye to Slifer the Sky Dragon and all of your spell and traps. And that clears the way for a direct attack from Obelisk the Tormentor, use your Fist of Fate. Oh god. Okay, that means you take 4,000 damage directly, putting you down to 3,800. Okay. At the end phase, I have effects that can go off. I will activate the effect of my Joker's Wild to shuffle back Jack's Knight to add it back to my hand. Okay. And I will also activate the effect of my Joker's Straight to shuffle back Queen's Knight Mad Joker straight back to my hand. Is that all I can do, I think? Because that's once per turn, yes. So I ain't out of the woods yet. All right, your move to list. So now, I will draw. I'll activate Joker straight. Discard one card. I've done this literally every time it's been my turn. Yeah. But that's a good thing, because it always comes back. I will special summon Queen's Knight, King's Knight. But I will choose not to normal summon King's Knight. Yeah, I don't think that he's going to be standing up to Obelisk anytime soon. It's my choice, and I have the right to make it. All right, well. And I will set one card. I'll set two cards face down as well and pass. All right, Duelist. Quakering in your boots because of Obelisk's strength. All right, draw for turn. So, um, let's see here. I will into the battle phase. Mm -hmm. Obelisk the Tormentor will attack your Queen's Knight. You activated one of my trap cards. The Ultimate Divine Beast. When you declare an attack, I get to uh, special summon one Slifer the Sky Dragon from my graveyard and switch its attack target to it. Oh, okay, so I have to attack Slifer. Not a problem since it only has a thousand attack and defense. Obelisk will attack Slifer instead. He'll be back. destroyed. Art. Graveyard, is this set at home? I'll go to main phase two. I'll just set two cards face down and a monster face down as well. All right, so I will end my turn. At the end phase, of course, we'll activate the effect of Joker straight. I'm so tired of that card. Um, uh, it's the, gift, it's the back? gift that keeps on giving. I'm shuffle back King's Knight, add Joker straight back to hand. Fortunately, I don't have anything to shuffle back my Joker's Wild. Good. That's good news for me. 
All right, your move first. I will set one card face down. Then I will set another card face down. And then I will activate my trump card, the Revive Sky God. Okay. This allows me to special summon Slifer from my graveyard, and then we both draw until we have six cards in hand. Well, thank you, Duelist. I appreciate the gift. It's kind of like you're, oh God. It's kind of like you're resetting this duel. All right, so now I have six cards. Do you? Mm -hmm. Of course, you know, Slifer gets Big. Oh, you have oh, wow. 6,000 attack points on Slifer now. Let's, I will activate the effect of Joker's Knight. You hadn't seen him yet, this duel. Okay. I get to send one face card from deck to grave, and his name becomes that name. I will send Jack's Knight to grave, special summon, Joker's Knight. Okay. Next, I will flip summon, King's Knight. Okay. And then I will activate the effect of my Arcana Triumph Joker because I control one of each because he's considered Jack Snipes now. I can send all three to Graveyard for the GY and special summon her. And she has a neat little effect where she gains 500 attack points for each card in both of our hands. I have six, as you know. So that'll be 3,000 and she'll gain 2,000 from me. So that will put her at... Oh gosh, that's a lot. 5,000 attack points. 5,000. You okay. I will activate a kind of Triumph Joker's effect to discard one card, and she will destroy all face-up cards of the same type, whether it be monster, spell, or trap. Okay, so what are you discarding? I'm at an impasse. On one hand, I don't want you to draw any more cards. But yeah. on the other, I kind of want to destroy Obelisk, but I also want Obelisk to be food for Slifer, but only got four cards in hand, so yeah, that's so the same. So I guess that, that decision has been made for me. I will pitch King's Knight to destroy all face-up monsters you control. That destroys Obelisk, but my supply squad will let me draw it one will, card. It'll let you draw. So now I will move towards battle phase. Slifer the Sky Dragon will attack your face down with 3,000 attack points. Okay, well, you attacked my unmasked dragon. When unmasked dragon is destroyed by battle, it lets me summon a worm monster from my deck with 1,500 or less defense. I special summon another unmasked dragon from my deck in defense. Arcana Triumph Joker will attack your unmasked dragon. All right, he's destroyed, and now he's gonna bring a new monster to the field. One of my many desperate ways to summon Obelisk, I special summon Mare Mare in defense position. Mare Mare. Man, I'm not synchro summoning, I can promise you that. You have to live for now. All right, Duelist, what now? Because I'm tired of your supply squad, and because Arcana Triumph Joker is not once per turn, I will activate her effect again, discarding to destroy all face-up spells you control. Well, goodbye, supply squad. I think I got plenty good, of value. I was going to say good riddance. I've drawn so many cards off of Jesus. that. Jesus. I will move toward the end phase. On end phase, the effect of Joker straight will activate. I will shuffle back Jack's Knight. Also, Joker's Wild Effect will activate. I will shuffle back King's Knight to add it to my hand. And of course, Slifer, because he was special summoned from the graveyard, will go to the ah, back yes, to the that graveyard. Ah, yes, that is true. Okay. Or as I like to call it, he returns to the sky. Yeah, he returns back. to the sky, and he comes back down, and he uh, goes back up, and he comes back. Sounds okay. like, that sounds like a fun time right there. All right, so uh, that's great. I'm going to be drawing into a lot of cards. And you can take it. Take your nasty deck. <clears throat> All right. Who hurt you? My draw. I'm going to activate the effect of my Mare Mare. It'll let me decrease its level by one and special summon a token to the field. I can do that up to three times in a turn. Mm -hmm. So I'll special summon one token, another token, and finally a third token. You gotta pay no life points. I don't, thankfully. And you know what that means, Duel. So I'm going to tribute my three tokens to summon Obelisk the Tormentor once again. Okay, now that I've got Obelisk the Tormentor in the field, I'll activate my Fist of Fate. This lets me destroy one of your monsters, and since I'm using it in my main phase, I'll be able to destroy all your spells and traps once again. And you can't negate this card. I will chain the Revived Sky God. Oh boy, bringing him back, are we? Special summoning Slifer the Sky Dragon. And drawing. And then we'll draw until we have six, which I think you have. They already have six. So, so. No, no no freebies for you. Oh no. Saying the soup kitchen. Well, the supply squad helped me enough this Four, game, five, I think. Six. So. All right, well, 
I'm going to be destroying, well, the card I'll destroy because it's got so gosh darn much attack is your Arcana Triumph Joker. She, she, she is pretty beefy She's right very now. big. I have like, like six cards. You have six cards. What's that, 12 yeah. times five? 6,000. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Arcana Triumph Joker dies along with your spells and trap cards. And with them off the field. She's very beefy. That means, oh, you still have six cards in your hand. That's trouble, but. Cause you still can't normal summon. Mm, that is true, yeah. I really need to be able to use my obelisk's effect to actually get rid of your slifer, but I can't currently do that. But I think I have a plan. I'll normal summon Telus, the little angel, mm -hmm. in attack mode. That will cause uh, slifer's second mouth to open. He likes to gobble little angels. That's a really dark I'm sorry. lore. All right, <laughs> Telus gets destroyed, but that triggers its special effect. When it's sent from the monster zone of the graveyard, I can summon a Telus wing token. All right, well, I'm going to use Obelisk the Tormentor's actual effect for a change. I'll tribute my token and my Mare Mare, and it'll destroy all the monsters on your side of the field. So just Slifer? Yes, but that also lets me use this, finally. this. My, where is it? God, it's been so long. Breaking Ruin God. I can banish it from the graveyard. Whenever I tribute two or more monsters at the same time to activate a card or effect while I control Obelisk, I can banish this from my grave and I'll banish all the monsters in your grave and inflict 500 damage to you for each monster I banish. For each? That's right, so how many monsters are in there, Duelist? One, two, three, four, five. They're all banished. And you'll take 2,500. 2,500. But Obelisk can't attack this turn. Good. So, 2,500 to your life points, but you had only 1,300. Can you possibly make a comeback to a list? I we don't can think see. so. All right. My Obelisk can't attack the turn I use this effect. So you're safe, at least for now. But, I think. It'll be fine. I'll set one card face down in the field. Mm -hmm. Your move. I will draw for turn. All the cards I wanted, that is not the one. It's literally not the freaking one. I will normal summon Imperial Bower. Okay. I will activate the effect of Imperial Bower to tribute them and take, what is it, two different face cards mm -hmm. and either add them to my hand or special summon them. So I will special summon King's Knight, King's Knight, <laughs> and Jack's Knight. Oh, stalling for defense, are we duelist? Maybe. We gonna see. See, we shall. Next, I will normal summon Queen's Knight. Then I will activate Thunder Speed Summon. Oh, I forgot you had that. Okay. Yes. But I will be searching for Arcana Triumph Joker. Oh, well, hello. And then I will be tributing all of them to summon her. But. That is not all. all right. I think that is all. Well, I've got four cards in my hand. Mm. I will activate Arcana Triumph Joker's effect to discard a monster to destroy all monsters you control. Oh, it's Slifer. Obelisk is going to be destroyed, and that doesn't do any damage to me, thankfully. Not yet. Next, I will activate the effect of my revived Sky Gun. Because I have Slifer the Sky Dragon in my graveyard, I get to add one Monster Reborn on top of my deck. And then, if I have a Divine Beast in my grave, which of course I do, I get to draw Ooh, one card. Dangerous. Okay. And next, I will play Monster Reborn to revive the Sky God. The Sky God. The Sky God. Okay. This is a little dangerous. He has three thousand attack, and she has thirty-five hundred. So I'm going to move towards battle. Ooh. Okay. Slifer will attack you for three thousand. Okay. I take 3,000 damage. And Arcana Triumph Joker will attack you for... 35. 35. So now I will end my turn, and in the end phase... Say goodbye to your Slifer. I had other things first. That's true. Um, Hopefully I have too many knights left in there. Joker's Wild will activate to shuffle back... Running low on knights, are we? I am. Good. It looks like my back Breaking Knight. Ruin God made an impact. And of course, yes, Slifer will go to the grave. Okay, so now you have four cards and I have four. My turn then? Yes. Just go, yeah. Draw, return. All right, duelist. Well, I'm going to set one monster face down and and I have to end my turn. I will draw for turn. Yeah, I got, I got caught. <clears throat> I said I got to draw. Yeah. Draw yeah. for turn. Oh, all right, just blaring all over the. Anyway, um, 
Next, well first, I'm going to activate my second copy of the revived Sky God Engrave. Luckily for me, it oh, also- Oh, I forgot you had a second one. <laughs> yes, luckily for me, it also works for Monster Reborn in the graveyard. So I put that sucker on top. Cause and go ahead Slifer and draw it. A, yep, okay. Slifer is a bifer. Then I will activate Monster Reborn. Oh, shocker. Bringing back Slifer the Sky Dragon. Let's move towards battle phase. I'm not afraid of your Slifer duelist. I mean, only a little bit, but. Arcana Triumph Joker attack the face down. You attacked my scape ghost. Wow. Its flip effect will summon black sheep tokens to the field. As many as I possibly can. All right, I'll special summon. Tip card, a master duel card, a duel links card, another master duel card. Slifer will attack one of the tokens. Good night, token. It was nice. Main phase two. You keep running for me. Oh, I'm running. I'm going to activate this in the battle phase. I'll use. Make sure I can do this. I'll use my breaking ruin god. This will let me summon an Albus the Tormentor from my hand or graveyard. During the battle phase? Even during the battle phase. And it's unaffected by your cards this turn. So say hello once again. Two, Obelisk the Tormentor. That way your Slifer can run over him. Yeah, we're gonna get 5,000. Don't want that happening. He's gonna get runt over. Runt over. So main phase two, I will sit. Hmm. You thought you were gonna get another turn, didn't you, Duelist? Well, you thought wrong. I activate my final trump card. Soul Energy Max. Since I control Obelisk the Tormentor, whose original attribute is divine. I contribute two other monsters and destroy as many monsters you control as possible, and then inflict 4,000 points of direct damage to your life points. So I'm going to tribute my two Master Duel tokens, and that will destroy all of your monsters and deal 4,000 damage directly. Yeah, nothing I can do about it. Obelisk the Tormentor, absorb the Master Duel tokens and then destroy him with your Fist of Fate. Smash! And that will decrease your life points to zero and win this duel. Right, good game, duelist. It looks like Abos the Tormentor reigns supreme in this duel. Thank you for joining us for this Battle of the Gods video. Thank you for joining us on all our, all, all our previous Battle of the Gods video. And of course, if you haven't, check them out. They're really fun. If you like what we do here, please like, share, and subscribe. Mention in the comments the next godly duel you want to see. Yeah, what any theme duels you want to see. And what's your favorite Egyptian god Ooh, card? Maybe next time, e pure Egyptian god deck versus the sacred beast. Who knows? Let us know in the comments what do you want to see. All right, that's going to be as, it. As always, I've been Larry. I've been Paul. We're Team APS. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Pass turn.